building a stronger relationship between police officers and the people they serve. Tonight, nearly every city in town in our area took part in National Night Out. Now, while the events allow officers and neighbors to connect, it also allowed one victim's family to educate people about the dangers of selling items online or via apps. Our veteran crime reporter Glenn Count spoke with the family of Zachary Finch. Zach died while trying to buy a cell phone back in 2017. And Glenn, they told you that safe zones they believe are making a really big difference. Yeah, Erica, you know, a lot of the folks who attend National Night Out events like the one that occurred here in the park have a story. And the family of Zachary Finch wants to make sure that that story doesn't end like theirs. Zachary Finch loved baseball and he loved other people. He was supposed to still be here, but he was murdered two years ago on Father's Day. It's been a tough couple of years for Zach's family, but here they are at Highland Creek's National Night Out with a strong crime prevention message. The sun is shining. I know Zachary's up there smiling, but we miss him. Miss him. Zach arranged to buy a phone on the Let Go app, but it was a setup. He was shot and killed during a botched robbery. The family is asking everyone who engages in online sales to go to a safe zone, which have been established by CMPD and QT. If you cannot get to an exchange location, you know, an area that's well lit, that's, you know, video cameras, that, you, you know, the people can't ambush you at. The family has created a foundation in Zach's honor called ZSAFE. There is a website. The family wants every city to pass laws requiring safe zones. Hopefully one day we'll get an ordinance. I'd love to see this nationwide. It's for him. We want him to be able to go on and do good things and not let this happen to anybody else. Well, the family wants everyone to sign a pledge. You can find that on the Z Safe website. And I think once you read it, you'll agree that it makes a lot of sense. Back to you. Yeah, saving a lot of lives in Zach's memory. <laughs> Our veteran crime reporter, Glenn Counts, live for us tonight. Thank you for bringing us that story, Glenn. In Pineville, officers were cooking for people tonight. There was face painting and they played with the kids during their night out event. They say it's all about getting to know people on a personal level. Same thing in Matthews, where police um, were out there with their, their dogs, their canines, that lovable pup right there, a big hit at the bounce houses. Police said that this event is increasingly important because of how frequently people move from town to town.